Hey, welcome to everything fly fishing. If you have been here before, welcome back. And thank you for watching our videos. In this video, it's summer. You want to go out in the morning before water warms up, but the water is low and clear. You can't use strike any care to scare the crap out of fish. And you sure heck ain't gonna walk up to the water and urine them for them. So we're gonna tell you how to fish for these low, clear water. And we're gonna start right now. Hey, welcome back. Like I said, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this one. I've been waiting a long time to bring you this video. I lost the footage on my computer. Got it back just yesterday, so today I'm making this video on clear low water. We're gonna teach you how to do it. We're gonna show you fish we caught, and we catch a bunch this way. Every year, me and Tracy's favorite way to fish is low clear water where you can sight fish. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Let's go to the water. As you can see here, this fish is holding in low water. The water is very clear. And as you watch the f this video, you can see as the fish move off or lowers himself in the water column to feed. And this fish is very active, very feeding. It's really cool. I caught this fish out back at my house feeding and I got it on video. This is a really cool shot. Make sure you wait to the end of this video, stay to the end of this video so you can watch more and hear more about fishing low water. Now after seeing that fish feed, let's go to the strategies. Alright man. We are here at White Deer and we are going to show you what we got on here. Here we got a grasshopper. Now I know you're saying about the grasshopper, it's not hopper season. I'm just using this as a strike indicator and I'll tell you why in a second. And then I have a teeny little size 18 uh, see that or not let's see if I can get you to focus in on that it's a little olive flashback okay so that's what I have about two feet two feet between the uh, hopper and the flashback There's no really bug surface activity right now. So, I'm just using the strike, that as a strike indicator because I don't want to use a strike indicator in here. Because, as you can see, well, as we fish this hole, that the water is really low here. I'm using two feet because it's about a foot and the water flow makes that about, about where I want to be. The water flow is pretty fast. So I want to move deeper. It's not a, it's not going to hang straight down. It's going to drag off at an angle. So I had two feet will make it about a foot in this water speed. So the water is really low and clear. So you can you almost you will probably see them just sitting in there and we'll be sight fishing for them. And who knows? Maybe one will hit the grasshopper. I highly doubt it, but you never know. So. Let's go check this hole out. Let's see how we do. Um, hope the audio and everything's cool. You can hear me. Um, it's my first time shooting myself, um, talking to the camera. So, but let's go to the creek and see how we do. We're on white deer. It is about eight o'clock. 
in the morning and we're going to see how we make out. See, that was the fish I caught. Now, two weeks later, Tracy had off. The water was high again. See, I, this is why we're gonna see a lot of footage of white deer. And I'll show you the footages of the other creeks around Memorial Day and everything around this time. I'm just getting that footage back. But so anyway, back to the story. I took Tracy there two weeks later, and I know you guys would rather watch her. So here's what Tracy luck, the luck that Tracy had. Let's go back to the water with Tracy now. I didn't get in here. So. Uh, little guy here. It's a dry fly. With a dropper. Yeah, there. Walter's sexy worm. This water is real low in here. And uh, it's like almost a sulfur dry. That's what they'll be is merging in here. So we got the dry and the nymph. And we're going to go give a shot because this water is really slow, really low. And you can't strike indicator fish. It scares the crap out of the fish, so you gotta use a dropper. So that's what you do in low, clear water, it's dropper setup.
Okay, so I hope you like that. Uh, the uh, some other the other fish that Tracy caught at that and that last group of fish was that big one when I said that I wasn't gonna fish with Tracy anymore. She was caught that big rainbow on that dropper setup that you just I just showed you, and uh, it's deadly combination and. You know, you could use all kinds of droppers. I like one I like is the Royal Wolf. That's a good one. Royal Coachman. And they look like a lot of different bugs that are out right now because right now it's starting to get hot. Um, we're going to have old footage when it was cold. Like in that video, you seen I had gloves on. It was cold. So we lost all that footage when our computer crashed and we haven't been able to bring it to you until now. We got old footage of last year that we got off the computer, off the GoPro. So. We got a lot of fishing videos coming. They're older videos from past, um, but that's because our, like I said, our computer crashed, so we had a problem with that. So make sure, if you like, I said, if you're still here and you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure you do, because we're going to bring in more fishing videos, more instructional videos, more tying videos. We're going to tell you a lot of information you're going to want to have, so make sure you subscribe. And we are going to be doing a lot more live streams. This Sunday, I think we'll do it at around 6 or 7 o'clock again. Look, so look for me and Tracy there. Remember, this Sunday, 6 or 7, I do that for people that are overseas. People in California still don't have to be up. In, we're early in the morning, and Tracy likes to be a part of the live stream. So check that out this Sunday. And uh, we'll talk more about low water, checking water temperatures. We'll be discussing all kinds of stuff. We'll be uh, discussing how Tracy got started. Well, all kinds of information we'll be bringing you this Sunday. So make sure you're there live at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And thank you always for watching our videos. You can see all kinds of videos in the playlist here. Tying, fishing all kinds of videos go back and watch them videos so learn to tie these flies and the two flies I used were in old videos make sure you go back and find them and all the video flies used in this video were tied in previous videos so go check them out and keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip and have a great day